Aloha, everybody. I found this song. Anybody heard this song? It's about us. We're going to pop something. I don't know what. I think it's tags. Not skin tags, no. We're talking about the Goodwill. Okay. Very important things are happening to our wallet. Welcome. I'm Primo Chemo. That's Bam Banshee. The dog is somewhere. And this is Reseller News Now. Well, aloha, everybody. Welcome to the show that I'm doing. Right now. Yes, we have. I, I don't, really don't know how subscriptions work, uh, but we, yes, we do have thir- three, 3.5 million viewers now or thousand. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Either one's fine with me. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know how that works. Uh, it's it's shocking and also glorifying. I feel glory. Easter Sunday, our subscribers has risen. Am I right? Is that a laugh? <laughs> no, it's not really funny. Yeah. Oh, but but. Oh no! I did the wrong thing. Well, speaking of jet, that was my uh, jet intro that I have waiting for him. Look, Stoic is here. Look at all the people who are here first. I, I want to mention Stoic in a second. Kevin, uh, Carl says he's not going to, may not be able to uh, catch the live, but we'll check it afterwards. And that's why it's recorded. So that's awesome. Major Win, of course, is here. Whoops, sorry. Wrong one. My fingers crossing too fast. Uh, look, uh, you're looking forward to seeing us. Here we are. Welcome. Looking. Uh, glad you're here in green with the blue star. Uh, Biff Bafo also checked in. He's on the road. Have a great chat, he says. Pokey is clearly missing both of you. He is howling in distress because he is missing both of you. There he is. Here. Uh, Patricia, good afternoon, chatters. Aloha, Patricia. Aloha, Cali Debs and Dendecor Depot. Jen, JRKR. Gina is here. Aloha. Craven Cars. How you doing? Welcome back. Uh, Stoic Kevin is here. And James, our good man James, has changed the name of the boring reseller life to the great reseller life. And I can't, I can't uh, blame you for that. I'm feeling great. You, you, are you feeling great? You can nod since we can't hear you. Yes. She's feeling great. Pokey's always feeling great because he's a dog. Uh, and let's see who else is here. Uh, six by six is here. Carla Olson is here. Aloha. And that's it for now. So caught up to now. And then all of a sudden the chat will explode and I can't keep up. But for right this second, we have caught up. So what I wanted to talk about, um, today is, and I'm not kidding and I'm not trying to rub it in anybody's face because I most certainly am noting that. Not everybody is where we're at right now. I don't know why it is this way or what exactly we did, but the title of this is something stupid because I made it up quickly. Um, I forget what it is. Is it, what did I call it? What did I call this one? Oh, this is what we did differently. Something like that. Or this is what we did to get our sales up. And the, the joke is we did nothing. We really honestly did nothing. Um, so I want to start just by, I want to start with, oh, there's a fuzz. Look at that fuzz flying around there. So I want to start with uh, this little piece of, uh, this little piece of propaganda here. Let's go to the graph. Mark McGrath. Um, so this is our, this is last year. March 1st to March 31st, showing that actually it was down. Well, don't look at some of this stuff, doesn't matter. But the, the point is, is that we had, um, you can see that these were Aloha Major Wed giving us a super chat for Kevin. I love how, I love how that works. <laughs> um, 
it is it is very much my uh my esteemed pleasure to accept your um your super chat. What what did you say? Oh, you have to go. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't notice that. Okay, we'll see you when you get back sometime, but thank you very much. So what we're looking at here on this here chart is I just wanted to point out that I wanted to give you a juxtaposition between last year and this year. Our sales currently are up 60%. If you just go to the the basics, uh your basic sales, it'll say it says up 60%. So what what's up 60 percent and that's i think that's over last 31 days that's what it's saying so our sales are not up over last year here's the current condition of our sales we are however up this is comparing january no i didn't oh wait where's the one? Oh yeah so i want i just wanted to show that compared to last oh no that's showing last quarter sorry i didn't i didn't do this right because i i rushed Hold on, let me go big. Because I don't like sharing my numbers because I'm embarrassed of them usually, and I'm still kind of embarrassed of them, so I don't like to show them. But uh, the number that's important is that we're up 60% over January 31st, same period, last 31 days, same prior months. Now, I wanna do stupid last year. Why don't you do that? Um, anyway, it says here on my sales thing that I'm up. 60% over prior period selling costs are only 20 they're 22.1% of our uh total sales and therefore our net sales are up 79%. What? 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 I, that's what I'm saying. What? I don't cuz I don't know. I don't really want to show that cuz it's the dollars, you know. You know, I don't know who works for the IRS. What? It says seventy nine percent. No, I don't get it. But uh, it is comparing to January. Th wait, March second, twenty twenty four to April first is one month. Why is it comparing? Oh, it's comparing it to January thirty first to March first. Gotcha. And those were horrible months. So. That, you know. But what I thought was really um, cool and important to see was how um, last year, we can go back to that. Last year, this is where we were at in impressions and sales. So this I thought would be interesting to Kevin Stoic. Um, as you can see here, last year when we were doing Promoted, we were down at about 100,000 impressions a day. That's where you would say, and each one of these spikes is a, is a reset because I've always done resets. But I, we used to do it every two weeks or something. So a nuclear reset really has never been that much of a big deal to us but um, because we always did it. It looks like a Bay Bridge kind of, huh? Or like a suspension bridge. That's nice, pleasant. Um, and you'll see that our page views are 200. So I, I'm just saying the average, and an average is probably less than 200. So, and then when you, and you look at the impressions, about 100,000 page views, about 200 a day. At this time, we were selling items that were worth more and items sold were 55. So now we're selling items that are worth less, smaller, less uh, expensive things. Um. And you can see here that our number of items sold is up 40% or 84 compared to 55 uh, last March. And then you'll also see that our now our impressions are not 100,000, but now we're bouncing off 150,000. So why is that? So when I was promoting last year, I had less, less impressions with the promotions turned on. And page views now are bouncing off of 300, not bouncing off of 200. Let's look at that again. Here's the page views. 200 is the top. See this? Big gully here, right? And there are, and we have the same amount uh, of items in the store approximately as last year at this time. And so you can see that the average does not even hit 200. 
So when you go back here, now you see the average is at 300. No promotions, no fake, uh, mostly no fake external views. Uh, our page views keep going down a little trickle at a time. Our impressions are starting to go down a little trickle at a time. Sales up. Sales up. Can't, I can't tell you. Same items, item quality, item uh, stuff. It, it, everything is the same as last year. So uh, at, at March. And, and because of our... Um, Our mystery, our mystery people, one from Flipping Ain't Easy, who uh, mentioned to John, uh, we don't know who uh, who he is, um, said that, or why, or how he's connected to eBay or anything. Um, but he said March is supposed to be a good thing. We also know from, um, from, from Jamie or from whoever was talking at Q4 that the... Big updates, not of servers, because I, I don't I don't know what they're changing in servers. They didn't mention that. They mentioned GPUs, and that's for AI. So though that big uh, installation would be done. I'm going to move a little closer here. Uh, so that installation would be done by the end of March. So without totally knowing exactly what's going on, um, we are back to where we are. Per, for, for all intents and purposes, we're back to where we were in March of last year, we are now one year behind. Perfect. I think. I think uh, if you looked at my sales, which I uh, somehow erased, but I think it said that we were. No, I wrote it down. That's how I know. So technically, technically, gross is lo uh, six point one percent lower than twenty twenty three. But with the amount of troubles we've had since then, no problem. And since I've done absolutely nothing except for do the exact same thing for an entire year until September when I started to, to do the nuclear reset. Um, and then net, net sales are down only 2.6%. So that's more where I'm saying we're, we're basically even. I'm not going to complain about a couple of percentage points after the year we've been through. Quantity sold up 52%. Average sale price down 38.5%. To forty six point two six, so our current average sales price is forty six dollars and twenty six cents. That's where we sit right now. Definitely, the um, eBay has turned around for us. I don't know why, uh, but I do know that it tapped. But it, it, it happened. There's no way around it. Lenny K, Aloha. I didn't see your name before. Welcome. Um, and so I wanted to also share that with Kevin because Kevin is showing his, I, I definitely think there's a huge, huge difference between clothing sellers. Kevin also, uh, stoic reseller he, he, in his videos, check his videos out at stoic reseller. Um, he, he is absolutely sharing all data, including his numbers because his numbers are sexy. So, I mean, he, I don't, I don't see why he wouldn't, but, um, also he sells clothes and he's. He's in Oregon, so I'm matching up two things. He's selling sports athletic wear, which have a higher reseller. This is I'm just I'm diving into this a little bit, Kevin. So feel free to set me straight. Um, and you're in a place where th that stuff's hot. So and you know it. So you're doing clothing, which uh, seems to have a very high sell through rate. If you have the right stuff, you know the right stuff, and you're in the place to get the right stuff. That helps your numbers for sure. But I think the way that you're doing it with the promotion on now, because you were doing no promotion and now you are, is the best for your categories. But as you can see here with the type of stuff I sell, which is, you know, one-offs. And when I say I, I mean we. Don't get crazy. Um, the, uh, it is, it's beneficial to get your stuff in front of more people through a reset or through the first day. Not everybody can do the reset. I, I understand this. So go we're big. go big or go home. I'm already home. Here we are at home. Thank you. So that's all I have to say about that for now until we uh, read uh, some comments or the people can read them. Go to heck. Uh, let's see here. I just snorted a little bit. Um, Major Wynn said he's got to go. 
Uh, Stoic says, uh, thank you for the $1.99 super chat <laughs> to our account. Uh, you're welcome also, both of you, I think, right? Is that what I'm supposed to say? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, beverage of the day, more Poland Springs. Basically my only beverage that I drink currently. And I'm doing, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty solid. Although it's kind of ups and downs, if you were wondering, but you're probably not. Big Dre, Aloha Weekend sales were pretty, pretty, pretty good. Waiting to get them at storage until the uh, until three in case any other orders come in. Sold a manga book for, is it manga? Manga, right? Manga book for uh, book lot. I got at Goodwill's 50% off within a day. And Flippin' Ain't Easy is here. Aloha. I'd like you to know that... Um, uh, flipping that we are uh, doing. Let's go back to small. I have some things to look at here. Here's our tree cat. So this doesn't give away any personal information, right? I don't think. Too late now. But uh, I don't think it does. So we finally, sixteen ninety nine. Huh. I think I only have 1,698 items in the store right now. So <laughs> I'm not sure why it has 1,699, but it does. Uh I promised you last week two things. One that we would cross list to Mercari and one that we would go to the bins. And we did both. So uh, this is, we haven't actually technically done the Mercari yet, but it took a really long time to import this. I thought I was going to do it pretty quickly this morning so I could be done uh, cross listing to Mercari. But it, also using TreeCat, I can't do the nuclear reset and have it maintain, I'm assuming, the items on Mercari because it would get screwed up because there'll be new items. To const I don't, so I don't think I can use TreeCat to do nuclear reset cross-listing. So what I'm going to do is, again, take 10 of my best items or 10 items, I think. Mercari, after looking at it for a week, is not a hot platform. It's a lot of kind of, you know, lesser expensive stuff, but we've got plenty of that. So we are going to cross-list some stuff and just not nuclear reset that stuff. What? Yes, you may. And Macari. Oh, well, I didn't. I didn't look into that, so I don't know. I did. Oh, so she did. She wants to make sure you know, which wasn't technically part of this because I just wanted to quickly show this. But she is making the point that Mercari had a, had a hidden fee. Uh, apparently, they have a th that. For buyers, that ten percent or something wasn't wasn't uh, stated immediately, and now they're sort of both. They're saying that they're also saying that until April third, there's no two percent fee to take your money out of Mercari. So that's cool, but um, but yeah, they are. I guess they just weren't kind of being clear on the ten percent service fee or something, but it's obvious what it is. So um. Anyway, Mercari, Mer Mershmari. But I am going to do, we're still doing that because you're going to take advantage of 0% no matter what. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I want to use TreeCat to do that. So I'm also in TreeCat, which is another thing that got us caught up. And I'm liking how it's working right now as far as the way it looks and the way it operates. And I, a little bit of a, a little bit of a stumble getting it started, but I, I figured it out very quickly. Uh, one of the things is you cannot log into Mercari if you're using a VPN. And we always use a VPN, virtual private network. Just It just scrambles your code so, you know, so the man can't follow you. I, I don't care about that. But it's just a, it's, it's more of a smart thing. You know, IT people like to have VPNs. It's, it's just more uh, protection of your data. So Google has a free one right now. Or maybe it costs $2, maybe. But we're getting it for free, grandfathered in. You have to turn that off to sign up for Mercari. I don't know if you have, I think you might have to do it to log into Mercari because they want to check. Uh, one thing VPN does is hide your geography. So the computer doesn't know where you're coming from. So Mercari requires that at least to sign up on an account to link me on TreeCat to Mercari. I had to turn it off. And possibly you just have to turn it off to sign into Mercari. And once you're signed in, it keeps your login. And then it um, uh, happens. Um, so let me see here. Um, what else did I want to say? Wait, there's another piece to this. 
yes. The other thing I wanted to show you is the video we made when we went to the, it's for members and we do have members. You can join the membership. Nothing is right now. The members are major win and Biff Buffo. And thank you to Charles, who is our newest member. Thank you all three of those for being a member of our channel. Not really sure what we're going to do with this yet, but um, one thing we're going to do is at least put out one piece of, uh, of uh, what, do you call, what do we do? Creations. Content. Yes. We're going to put out at least one piece of content just for the members. But that is probably just for like a week or something. Like right now, I'm going to show you our uh, journey to the bins, which is just for members, except I'm going to show it to all of you. So check this out. House. How did we even get here? We're at the bins. Uh, oh, you can't. Uh, oh, you can't flip it around. We're at the buy the pound bins here in Williston. Okay, so let's uh, let's go in. Why is she laughing? Oh, oh no! Wait, what? April Fools to us. Oh no! It closed. It closed in the. Uh, Nine twenty three twenty two. Oh my birthday! Bleep. Good job. <laughs> Are you broadcasting your social security number as well? <laughs> um, well, that's that's kind of bummer, huh? I would say. Well, okay. Okay. That's so. This is the highbrow. So cool. That was our live for today. <laughs> Hope you guys. Lots of fun. We're a real success. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you soon. <laughs> so this is the kind of thing that you can expect if you join our channel. This is what you get for, for joining. We're actually thinking about doing like a private. Hey, what's going on hey, humans and resellers? What's James doing here? We're, pro we're probably just going to play James's video, who has changed his channel name to The Great Reseller. I think I mentioned that, but it's great. The Great Reseller. Wait. My Great Reseller Life. The great reseller life. Sorry, I had to look it up. Um, so congratulations to him. And congratulations to us for having members and then putting in our first video. We were thinking of doing like, uh, I don't know. Um, our bins are closed, by the way. So that was like the takeaway from that video was our bins are gone. So we couldn't, we still haven't gone. And But we do want to do something fun for the members, one thing a week. So uh, I was also thinking of doing a live stream, which would be a whole, you know, I don't know. For a special one for the members and then we would post it a week later but then it won't be current so i don't know but if you want to join you can and uh let's see um ben uh bendel for twitter what's up stoic nice uh video good chatting in the comments earlier today uh i apologize if i haven't been catching up with uh I i've been trying but uh, this stupid uh whatever's going on with me is annoying and taking me out of the game a little bit, but today I feel great. So I'll probably try to go back and, and make sure I've made comments on everybody's videos. Um, so yes, uh, Jen, we are swimming in the big money. Oh, I got to reach over and get the big money again because anytime you can pull out the big money. What, you remember how people used to bite on it? I'm not going to, because then I'll break my other tooth, and then, which I have to go back. So I've de delayed my tooth again because I have this medical thing. MRI on Wednesday. Nobody cares. But anyway, that's big money. Uh, we're not swimming in big money, but we're at the ex you know pretty much the exact same place we were last March, which was paying the bills. We um, paying the bills and then some a little bit. Like it, you know, it's not necessarily. I wouldn't say. Just to be fair, it's not like. Uh, investing money or vacation money it pays the bills it pays our lifestyle minus uh fun <laughs> minus uh, we could go out to dinner and stuff but we couldn't we can't go to hawaii and we can't invest so we're not putting anything away for the future so that that's all but then after march usually our uh it, it picks up a little bit and up to last year we had the $10,000 June, so we're kind of going to just keep doing the same thing and shoot for the stars and hit the ceiling. Um, 
yes, Jen, are, uh, yes, the, the top 20 search slots are way up from last year because there's just no promotion. And that shoots them up. So as you can see, not promoting, that was the big takeaway from that, not promoting um, both or another year, not promoting same items, lower ASP items, more impressions, more page views, not promoting than last year when we were promoting. And I think last year, I want to say, if you were to look at this, what would you guys say? Um, look, there's James. Uh, the report from March 1st, report last year. Uh, what was my point? Let's see. Yeah, 100. And this is 150. I, I, it boggles the brain, doesn't it, though? Doesn't it boggle the brain? What? Yeah, I got them both here. So that's, thanks. Um, this is... What was my point? My point was something important. Impressive. <laughs> I'm impressed with our impressions. Oh, top 20. Sorry. Yes. So 23 and then last year. Oh, right. That's what I want to know. 5.9. And as you can see, there's like, this is, that's what I wanted to look at was how our, um, our promoted were 34% of our impressions were promoted. So if you take all those away, you're down to, on, a, on an average day, like this one right here, I'll even take this highest average, which is the second day of the reset, is usually you know higher than the rest of the days. Um, sorry. You'll see that organic was 54% at 165. So impressions were 165 per day. And if you go here, any old day, because it, it's capped at 150, as you can see here doesn't go past 150 it just kind of sits right there at 150 um 179 wait that doesn't what am i doing so total page views here total impressions sorry uh organic are 126,439 now compared to 126 943 then but if you took away the promoted listings You'd only have 55. That, I think, is my point. If you take away promoted listings from last year, I'd only have 55 organic impressions. While this year, I have 100% organic impressions, 143,000 impressions. That's three times as many impressions not promoting. I'm looking at you, promoters. But with that said, I digress, and I go back to my earlier comments about how uh depends on what you're selling really depends on what you're selling mike seller aloha Ben decor uh depot that top 20 cent has got to be the daily nuke it most certainly is and not impressions and 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 not i'm sorry not um promoting uh ladybug aloha uh four season flippers are your real numbers or an april fool's no <laughs> no that would be cool you know how much time it would take me to fake the <laughs> fake these numbers, so I'm I'm not. Um, but that's a that is an April Fool's joke to say last year. If you're just if you take out the promoted listings, uh, promoted prom, uh, impressions, fifty five thousand promoted impressions per day. Now nuclear resetting every single day, which absolutely gives you a bump in impressions and page views. Doing the nuclear reset, I have three times as many, three times as many promotion uh impressions and page views mm -mm -mm -mm. or it's more like it's a it's a mystery uh aloha amy we were looking for your uh dad's woodstock things again this weekend and uh it was did not find them i'm just, i they're here in this gosh forsaken place but I, I i was i was just i just don't know we gotta we, we're gonna look harder we're gonna find them but just so you know this is like not even a, a a done deal here but while i was looking for them i came across these two things these things okay these things remind me of josh galt for some reason i'll tell you why um when i was very young like probably single digit numbers 
I, first of all, when I went to school, I learned how to put a, see that right there? See the seven with the line through it? I changed my sevens to a seven through with the line through it. I still do that because Susie Fremmel did that. And I think it's because she was German. Susie Fremmel, is that a German name? Anyway, she was hot. It's, you know, it was, it was fifth grade or fourth grade. I don't even know. Uh, fifth grade, probably. And uh, I wanted to build a business so bad. I just wanted a business. So I went through, I, I think I got, I got these definitely. These might have been like my mom's or something. Like they were in the house, but they were old. And I wanted to be sort of, I wanted to sell antiques. They were very hot in the, in the late seventies, early eighties. Antiques was cool. It was a cool thing to do. And to be a businessman was a cool thing. And I wanted an inventory system. So these, I think these are the last two items left from, from a very young Primo's inventory system. And I have these two Walt Disney books. They're probably worthless, but I have them and they are still inventoried in the same bags that they were put in by me. At that time. So how cool how cool is that? I found those while looking for Amy's uh, iron-on transfer that she's going to get one of these days. Uh, for, uh, you already asked if those were fake. They are not. Basket noodle. Moo. Stoic says in response to my, uh, my comment, you're 100% accurate. Part of sourcing is realizing what is available in your area and doing the necessary research to ensure you leave nothing behind and understanding that pricing. And that's what you did. And my, my big thing was exactly the same. Our big success on eBay has, was, you know, in the olden days, way 20 years ago, it was the arcade games. So nobody wanted arcade games and, and pinball machines in 2000. Well, they did, but around here they didn't. Uh, they were like not, in California, auctions were going on that were like $3,500 for a Tron. But when I came here, I was going to find my, I still have the spreadsheet of uh, how much we paid for everything. And I'll show that to you sometime. I bought Trons for $50. I bought, uh, the most I ever spent was on the Adams Family pinball machine, 1200 bucks that I sold for 4400 that same year. So I got, I saw, these guys were getting old and I really wanted to retire. And I just came in and just went, I'll just buy everything. And I'll just buy it all from you so you can just wash your hands of it and walk away. It was an amazing deal. And the second pile of crap I did was uh, all the computers, all the vintage Apple computers and stuff that came from the colleges around here. And we didn't have computer recycling back then. So I just said, I'll take your stuff. And they were like, where, where do we back the truck up? So it was uh, taking advantage of your place and time and uh, knowing you know, how you can be a little, you know, Finding the un, unseen assets, that's kind of the deal. And Stoic, is he's, he's killing it at that. That's what's happening with him. Um, Aloha managed to make it. Yay, Carl's here. <laughs> Kevin says, also, I take a little of everyone's, uh, out of everyone's book. I do a daily reset. You do do a daily reset. Oh, I didn't know that. Awesome. A hybrid promoted listing model, cross-listing, and trying to implement specific items, details to ride the green wave. And, and yes, that's a Polish Pete's term. And we did that. I think that's what part of what happened. Or because they turned us back up, thanks to... Uh, uh, <laughs> Jet Fixer and uh, uh, Flipping Ain't Easy, a secret guy, um, who said that something would happen in... in uh, in March, 2024, uh, they, uh, something happened and we had two green waves where people just started buying. One person bought like six 45 records and then we're just like, boom, boom, boom. We're just selling. We've sold 20 45s. That's a lot for in one month. Um, and then the other thing, what was the other thing? Oh, the other thing is that we're selling all the com uh, games and, Computer manuals again. That all started up this month after being down for six months or being we've been clowned out of the out of the computer manual business for six months. And all of a sudden this month we're sending them. We're sending them all over the place, including back to California, which is one of our hangups that, that wasn't letting it go through. Basket Noodle says they're uh, they're being smart, proactive to be exact. 
Uh, I forget what that's referring to. Uh, flipping ain't easy. You you can do a nuclear reset for Macari. It simply removes the listing and creates a new one. May not have the same effect as an eBay reset. Okay, so that's what you know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It, you know how that's going to work to do to reset things and use TreeCat. Uh, to do. Oh, the dog's here. He just knocked. Um, yeah, it, and it, it is interesting that the, yeah, just Makari won't take the VPN, but they're in Japan. So that might be a thing they have to do. I don't know where they're, you know, why they do that, but they definitely want to know where you're located because they don't operate in every country as, but eBay doesn't make you do that. And they're not in every single country, but they're in most countries. Silver hair stacker in the house. Uh, Jen, yeah, um, John, how do you do a, a a nuke on the Macari if you if you know the easy way to do that? Took a long time. Basket Noodle took a long time for GOIP to cover most of the globe. Result of nine one nine eleven actually. Now the data centers are basically like embassies. I see. I see. That makes sense. You know so much about IT stuff. Curious Collections, aloha. We're missing you. We're not seeing you uh, pop up as much. Um, uh, we are looking into a cross-lister today. Why TreeCat versus List Perfectly versus Vendu? I, I'll tell you the only reason I've never used... Well, I haven't recently. I have used some things uh, 10 years ago. I've used cross-listers that were you know, programs that operated on your computer and then you used tokens. and It was just... And I think some of them still operate that way. And if those are good, that's great. I, I was looking for a much more modern solution like Vendu or something. Vendu costs money. Currently, right now, TreeCat's in beta and is free. And if, you, if you're a creator and you do a video, I, I'm not positive they're still doing this. But you may get a whole year free. Um, I'm still going to ride that because today's the first day that we actually uploaded everything. So, um, But it is still free right now. And then, um, although some people have... Uh, stated that they don't like this idea. I do because uh, it works for us. Um, it's only 50 cents a listing. So if an item sells, you pay 50 cents. People, some people, especially people like James, who are selling tons and tons, who are doing it, by, uh, making eBay work by volume, um, it, that doesn't always work. And so he sells so many at 50 cents, it would it would eat into his profits too much. But for us, when we have a limited number of items we're even moving, um, it's saying 80 a month, right? So 80 a month, so that's 40 bucks. Is that right? Do we have to do some sort of uh, calculation here? Let's see. 80 items a month, 50 cents each. Hmm. Yeah, 40. Yeah, you see, super genius. $40. I am close to okay with that. Um, considering that we're making $40 and then you, okay, we got to do some more. So we're at least making, well, simply we're making a hundred times more. No, 40 times 10. Yeah. So we're at least making a hundred times that much uh, per month, but we're really making like 150 or so times that much. So, um, that's good. That's a good. That's a good thing to happen. We did ask what? on flipping eight. Show. We asked on flipping eight. They can't hear you at all. Right. Flipping eight easy show. What did we ask? We asked because TreeCat was in the chat. TreeCat was in the chat. Ago, and did ask if they would would consider doing a monthly fee instead of a. Oh, if they would consider yes. During the chat last week, uh, with TreeCat in the room, people were still expressing that the fifty cents may not work for them. Uh, what do you, would you do consider a, uh, you know, monthly fee? And they said they would, I mean, they, they, because it's in beta and because they're so approachable and like accessible, um, they're very responsive. And as far as I can tell, you know, they're, uh, thingamabob, you know, their interface is really nice. Um, but when I, like I said, I, I haven't tried Vendu. Right now, I would just suggest TreeCat because it's free. 
And then once it's not free, it's 50 cents an item for now. Unless you're a creator, Curious Collection, and you do a video, I think they might still be doing the free for a year thing. Not, not sure, though. Don't quote me on that. Oh, 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 okay. We got a lot from, okay. So John is saying on TreeCat, higher volume sellers get lower rates. Okay, A. B comment is 31 to 100 items sold in a month is 35 cents. Okay, that sounds great. 101 to 50, 500 items a month is 25 cents on TreeCat. So that's way better than I even knew. More than 500 items sold in a month is 15 cents once they start charging. Now, that's a totally different number than 50 cents an item. So really look into that, peeps, on the, you know, if you need that automation, because that, that is, it's very helpful, and I've been looking forward to it for a long time. So thanks, John. Appreciate that uh, update. Um, let's see. Stoic Vendu is really useful but expensive, uh, Kevin says. And that is that was my feeling too. I would rather with the amount of items that we list, two thousand. Well, we have two stores, which we're building them both up to two thousand each, um, or less. So maybe it could be, uh, you know, maybe we'll have four thousand. Well, we can't. You can't sell that many items. The way we do it, we we're not into high volume. We're into higher average sold price, I guess. And everything still is, free, you know, not free. Nothing's free. Everything is still from our pile. And we're a long ways from reaching the bottom of that pile. So 50 cents is even, it would be fine for us. But 15 cents, I, I don't know. We, we're only selling in the 80 to, you know, 100 items a month. So the most it could be is 50 bucks a month. It seems, that seems reasonable. But those average, but the average items have to, you have to be up towards $50 for that to make sense. Yeah, that does make sense to me that it makes sense to you if you don't, if you don't have high ASP items. But if you sell a lot of them over 500, it's only 15 cents. Four season flippers. Wait, Ladybug said, uh, I was so excited to see how the bins were in quiet, quaint Vermont. They're so quiet that they're like, uh, okay. there's like, uh, um, cobwebs in the window that's how quiet they are and then in the main big goodwill right next door we went in there and we actually saw bins i'd never even seen bins before they're very very shallow uh big blue things and they just had like gloves and slippers in those new ones so that was I, it's been a long time since we've been to goodwill uh, she didn't even remember going there she's like I, I i've never even been here um but you did go one time because we saw the parrot the tiki parrots that were $15 for tiki mugs that you can buy online for $5 each. They were selling for $15 in like their special bespoke artisanal item area They that they hand-picked, hand-picked like their noses because that, it was junk. It was, you know, the whole place was pretty junky to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> Wait. Uh, Four Seasons Flipper said, uh, is anyone having much luck with Facebook Marketplace? Well, I know uh, in Vancouver, Canada, uh, Jeffrey, uh, the Hayfro Cells, is having excellent results with, with Marketplace. Uh, we are, in fact, on the list today is to list a couple chairs and these huge, I have a Yamaha portable sound reinforcement mixer. I mean, it's so heavy and so big and from, I think that it's 1979 and it's just not going to be shipped. And it's kind of fragile in that it comes in a carrying case. Like part of the equipment is a black, uh, uh, you know, lug case for uh, portable, what do you call it when they, portable music stuff, <laughs> concert stuff. It's a sound reinforcement mixer so i think what it's used for generally is you have a main mixer on stage and then you might have a auxiliary mixer and then you bring in i mean it's huge professional thing that has 24 tracks or something but it's big and it and it looks really cool so i got it just because it looked cool but they're worth you know 
almost a thousand bucks. So I, I will sell that locally on, on marketplace, but I, they are, aren't they charging now for marketplace 5% or something? I don't know either. Yeah, they would have to get my money, right? Wouldn't they have to, they'd have to get my money. I'd have to process it through so Facebook. Going from, 5 to 10%. from 5 to 10%. Well, maybe maybe that's only for if you sell it not locally. Because locally I'll just get cash. And then go to Costco with my cash. Right? Or Mary Bells. I'm never eating any good food again. It's so depressing. Uh, basket noodle, 1972 inflation, not 62. How dare you? Uh, basket noodle boggles the brain. 4 million impressions with a 6,000. Wait, you, that's what you have? Basket noodles? You've got the, you've got four, wait, with 6,000 page views? Is that for sure real? Because that's way off. That's off. Backyard mowing. Aloha. <laughs> Slow last three days here. Well, son of a gun. What is anybody on our path? Is anybody on our track, our trek track to, to happiness right now? Where March, you can look back at March and definitely definitively say we're back on track to a year ago this month. Anybody? <laughs> crickets? Wait, there is crickets on here, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. Uh, BN says, uh, 250,000 with 3000 views, 250,000 impressions with 3000 views. I obviously the, I don't, I'm really don't care anymore about impressions and page views. I can't because just, just the, you know, the sales are coming. I, it, and, but when I look back to last year, oh wait, is that what I had last year? <laughs> Maybe you're talking about us. Oh, we had 2.7 million impressions with 5,100 page views. So, yeah, that does actually seem, that is sort of what it ends up being. Oh, no, we have 4 million page views with 6,000 right now. So they are talking about us. Here, we'll go back here just so everyone can see. We do have 4 million impressions with 6,000 page views. But this is quantum over last year with... Promotions. And I'm going to tell you that these promotions were 6.5%, possibly 12%, possibly dynamic. Because we did dynamic last year. We turned it on to whatever they wanted to take out of our pocket. Um, trying to figure out how it all worked. Uh, but definitely, I don't think it was 2%. It was probably 6. Point, I remember doing 6.5 and 6.6 and 10 and 12 and dynamic. And I didn't until we were just kind of petering off of dynamic lower it to 2.1. And you can see it's, it's more than, you know, way more than half the impressions. So yeah, that's that you're talking about our numbers and that is, that is what they are. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, basket has listed a lot less. Now we have kept up with listing at least not growing our store. And especially after we took the big uh, hit, uh, at 371 items I, I blanked out and lost. We are slow to recoup that, but we but anything that sells, we are replacing it with exact like items, which mostly for the most part is 45 records, comic books, mid-century modern baubles, um, uh, computery stuff. Well, that's not sold. Sold? Uh, computery stuff. So the computer stuff turned back on. So like this um, HP 64,000, you know, I, I don't remember how much we sold that for, but probably 65 bucks or something. Uh, we sold, you know, why is somebody buying Star Wars Trilogy from us? I don't know, but I sold it. Uh, cassettes are back. Uh, this Brooksonic VCR sold for a bunch. Uh, and these uh, AFX cars are back. Books. That's, you know, we've, books are, books are new since last March, right? We didn't have books online. Left. I think we started listing those in the summer. That's the only thing different, but the books don't sell for a lot. Books are, I would say average $25 a piece. So it's not like, it's not a lot, but, uh, you know, electronics, those, these were always solid in electronics. Those have never been a problem, but here you see a green wave thing right here. So somebody bought those, this, this, 
that does not list everything. I don't know what how these are listed. But this was one person bought all these uh, Beach Boy uh, 45s, and then we just started selling 45s singles, one-offs to everybody. So that, that seems to be something that does encourage growth. Etc. Let's go big. Um, but yeah, yeah, that is what it is. Four million with six thousand impressions are kind of th they're definitely throwaway, of course. Uh, Basket also says, of course, they they'll come up uh, as new and fuzzy search algorithm, and also says way back when before camel case coding variable standards. <laughs> He's go saying stuff. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I used to get so ragged on zero versus O trying to track down bugsters. Uh, oh, a, Z, a, a capital letter O versus a zero. Because those are camel case coding. Is that, that's automatic now. So people don't make mistakes. I don't understand new coding. I, I sort of used to know coding. Um, I yeah I did C plus plus a little bit of C plus plus but not nothing no Ruby no nothing else really I can play with it on Shopify I can work it so I can you know essentially look up a YouTube video and fill in the the frog DNA so I can get my brain into a proper Tyrannosaurus um and that seems to fill in the spots for me enough to to be able to code currently because most of the parsing most of the uh, software out there is really user friendly now. So you really don't even have to be a programmer to to use C++ anymore. Is it C++ now? What do they even use C++ anymore? I assume they do. Um basket also saying we have a lot from basket right here in a grouping. Uh nice friend of mine takes in pallets of off off lease laptops and CAD machines for dirt. Sells uh laps online very very well. Yeah, basket. My, most of this stuff that we did was in the early 2000s, late late 90s, early 2000s is when we did it. So we literally got literally got Apple leases for free. They just for free. We had like four of them. Like two of them worked. One of them was a uh, was the good one with the with the um, you know the big floppy disks. I forget what they're called. They're like quick quicksies. Some some word for them, but they're not a three point five. Which the Mac XL, they became Mac XLs once they went to Sun Remarketing, and we actually got real live leases. It was crazy. And in fact, these um, the games that we sold this weekend, and the manuals are all from those days, twenty years or more ago. They're all stuff that we still have in the death pile from twenty. Years ago, it's madness. Uh, Paul Rose, aloha all, messed up again. Clocks have gone forward and now we're here. We'll watch show on the catch up. Well, that's okay. You get a... We get the horn. You mess with the bull, we get the horn. Uh, let's see. Uh, Callie Dabs, uh, I have used list perfectly. Uh, the very basic one for years now. And that doesn't mess you up at all? Um, no, you've, no, I'm sorry. You haven't had any problems with it? Um, I, I haven't really heard anybody's have too many problems with their cross-listing program because, you know, they're pretty far down the road of development now that most of the uh, mistakes would be ironed out. I remember ours used to have problems, something with tokens and logging, because eBay used to make the API much more difficult to to for people to make software for i mean we're talking back in the days of of turbo lister and stuff they wanted us to use blackthorn you know remember blackthorn which became you know seller hub listing tool which now i guess is just in integrated you know probably i don't know it doesn't seem like blackthorn but i'm sure they use some of the technology in seller hub now um Mercari has to, uh, Basket Needle says Mercari has to have a server farm or a few in the USA. I imagine they do, but for some reason, maybe legally they have to know your location. Or maybe they just want to sneak up on you. Sneak up on you and grab your, they're going to they're grab our wallets, right? What, 
we're all going to get our stuff on there and then somehow be locked in. And then, I don't know. I don't think they're going to mess with us. Right now, they're just trying to pull a full, a, a, a pull the, the rug out from under eBay any way they can because they smell blood in the water. I'm mixing my, <laughs> my metaphors as usual. Callie Debs. I already read Callie Debs, but I'll read it again. List Perfectly is great. So try that. Curious Collection, maybe. And Mike Seller is saying Flip. Flip is was free. That's just, I mean, that's all, that is a, it, tell me if I'm wrong. Is Flip a Chrome extension? It's a plug into Chrome, I believe. So some of these programs have different ways of working. I imagine most of them are server, are uh, server-side processing. Now, a days. Um, Curious said, uh, we had 5,000 items. Uh, where'd you go? We had 5,000 items. Item sales last year. We were thinking Vendu, but it's also pricey. That is the only reason I haven't done Vendu because Vendu is a sharp, a sharp tool. It looks like a sharp tool. I haven't used it. It's the sharpest tool. But TreeCat is pretty sharp, pretty darn sharp and free. So that's why we're going to use it. And their end and D list, if not already active, will be any any moment now. And I don't know if end and re I did, did we find out if end and relist could be end and sell similar or does it have to use the relist function, not the sell similar function? Don't know. Um, about that. Um, let's see. If you're, uh, Flippin says on. Did I play Flippin? I got Flippin ain't easy. <laughs> uh, on TreeCat, higher volume sellers get the lower rates. Oh wait, I already read those because you made me jump down. Uh, Steve Vash, aloha, welcome. I think, Steve, are you in Are you in Oregon too? I think you're in Oregon. Flip is only $9 a month unlimited, does not does not auto delist, but has some built-in, thanks for the hearts, uh, built-in Poshmark automation tools. So I think it's the best value. Well, yes, we do know that uh, TreeCat uh, currently does eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. So keep that in mind when looking for there's still a free platform right now, so keep that in mind. Um, setup time took me literally 10 minutes to set up TreeCat this morning. It took several hours to download all my items, but they're done now by the show. So I started at 8 this morning, and they were done five hours later. Everything it has been put into my TreeCat account, ready for me to cross-list onto Poshmark or Mercari. Haven't done it yet. I'll have an update on that next, either Wednesday or next Monday. Um, to let you know about that. And then Paul Rose again selling nothing, nothing happening. Yeah, that's, you know, I think it's your stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you know, to a certain extent it is stuff, but my big battle was always, uh, because, you know, like Stoic sells, he knows what he's doing. He's selling clothing, 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 clothing seems to be the, the one thing that shoes or clothing. So you're looking at uh, tech and sports, whatever. Doesn't seem to be a big problem in the clothing world. They seem to be the ones killing it on eBay now. It was those of us, Jack, uh, who I don't know, where's Jack? Uh, Jack and those of us, like records seem to be hit pretty hard. Um, and collectibles, that, that seems to be what you know, really got hit hard. Now, collectibles in general, card sellers, I think, got hit pretty hard. Comic books are way down. Uh, you know, high end things on all those in all those collectible categories are down, way down, uh, because we've lost the pandemic nonsense. And because of the lady that left, who was uh, artificially suppressing all of our collectibles because she didn't like them. She was a hater. She wanted to, oh yeah, thank you for reminding me of that. So she's pushing luxury and that's a, that's a little mini comment. I had a little chat with Patricia this weekend about uh, how it's, it, it already was apparent at the end of last year, getting the Q4 numbers on the big, on, on the big uh, high, high, uh, what are they called? Luxury brands like Louis Vuitton and uh, your uh, Dolce and Cabana and your uh, Louboutin, like your uh, your stuff that's uh, the bougie stuff, the bougie stuff, right? So the 
aspirational stuff where, you know, you might live in your truck, but you've got, you know, red soled shoes or, you know, you got your Gucci phone case or whatever. You know what I'm saying? People, aspirational luxury goods are down. Um, the real luxury stuff that we don't know, they do not sell them on eBay. Um, the rich are getting richer. And that luxury level of stuff is does not go to eBay because rich people who who have money do not shop e-commerce. They like, uh, and Patricia pointed this out very, a, a very, a very much understand this whole process being from uh, Menlo Park growing up in the Bay Area. People take uh, trips to New York City to go shop at boutiques that you don't recognize the name because that's what rich people do. It's fun, I guess. I don't know. I've never done it myself. I've I've tagged along. I, I've got to say, but I've never had that wallet. So, what's uh, is that major gifted one primo memberships? What? Thank you, Major Win. How do I do? I give that out, or does somebody else? I I don't know how that works. But somebody can have a membership. Uh, go dogpile and grab it. I don't, I don't know how it works. <laughs> but there is a membership for somebody. I, I, I better figure that out someday. Memberships are a whole new level of confusion for me. Um, boop, 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 boop. Uh, Full-time flipper podcast says, I'll check out Cap. Do it now while it's free for sure. Callie Debs pays $29 unlimited. So that's something to take into account. For list perfectly, so we got list perfectly. We've got uh, list. We've got vendu. We've got tree cap. Not list. Sorry, flip. We have uh, list. Must be one, right? Um, we've got those. So we got four to choose from at this point of the new one of the sort of new ones. Although list perfectly, I think's been out for quite a while. But as long as it's not a program on your computer, it's a more modern one. <clears throat> Okay, so they and they've they have used a lot of them. Actually, actually to to put it in perspective, uh John did an actual uh paid promotion for Vendu. So no, for Vendu. I'm pretty positive he did a Vendu one. And he has chosen Treecat over Vendu after get I assume possibly got some sort of, you know, promotional trial period and got to use it. So he chose Tree Cat over that. So I think that's that says a lot. Oh, your dart, your red channel. Oh no! Is there, people don't need to see me. I'm really concerned about my Ozempic uh, line. They make me. It, they're not. I don't take Ozempic at all. But it makes me kind of feel like Iggy Pop or something. See right here. Do you see that right here? It's like I got like an Iggy Pop over there. You know, like the striations. It's okay. I can't I've 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 blotted it out with the with the uh, light. Cool. That was intentional. Uh, let's see. Um where are we? Paul Rose, that is a well earned cheesed off feeling. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Or what that's referring to. Yes, but Mar uh, basket noodle. Yes, but marketplace has a much loftier goals than private commerce. I know a few coders there. It's all about the metaverse. So you want to go into the metaverse and trade there. Well, sure. The you know that that goes back to the comment is marketplace hot right now, and it and it is a little bit. Um, but like they're definitely trying to get you just to shop on marketplace, not local so their default now when you go onto marketplace is just marketplace it used to be local and so you have to actually click something and go local now to see the things that are actually in your area otherwise they're sort of presenting everything's in your area and i'm like damn we have some good shopping here and then i look it's in long island or somewhere <clears throat> so yeah it is a little annoying um callie debs is saying that uh Sales are getting much better, and that is what we want to hear. But thank you. So I'm not all alone here <laughs> being a braggadocious or something, which we're not. We just we're we, we're celebrating being 
percent down year over year because that is a good number that is a sweet sweet fine number 2.3 much better than uh 30 or whatever we started the month at i don't remember what we started it wasn't quite that much but it was a, it was double digits high double dig <laughs> yes the the cricket sound effect does sound does it sound like a squeaky wheel i mean it kind of sounds like crickets That kind of made me sleepy. Did that make you sleepy? You can't hear it. It does sound, I don't know. Or a squeaky Vermont wheel. Silver hair stacker. My March sales are 100%. Oh, then 2002 sales. I mean, 2022 sales. I can go look at that. I'll, I'll look at that in a second. Um, Den Decor Depot. No, this March was worse than Feb for a uh, still way off pace of last spring. Same stuff. Would be shipping 20 items a day with my 3,100 listings and last spring sell-through. So um, our sell-through rate is way up too. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yes, our sell-through late rate is way up. Um, and let me see. Beep, beep, beep. Sell-through rate. Where do you find that? I forget. Oh, yeah, in sales. Sell-through rate jumped this month to, we, we kind of have a, a low sell-through rate. I don't know if, where do you find that thing? Oh, is it just an overview? Maybe it's just an overview. <clears throat> now it's not loading. eBay's not working right now because we're all trying to use it all at once. Um, wait, now I have to look at an unread message from an eBay member. Um, oh, I already read that. Don't worry. So a nice guy called, uh, you know, wanted to buy a keyboard from me and asked if it came with a specific cable. I said, sure, I'll throw one in for you. And he's like, cool, I'll buy it in two weeks. And I'm like, well, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's still there. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how that works. But, uh, I'm glad I could talk to him and make him feel comfortable. I, I don't say anything after something like that. Um, do, 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 do. where's my sell through stupid rate? Uh, well, I'm not going to waste too much more time on, um, it is total buyers, quantity sold, average sale price, 61.7% up. Wow. And uh, eBay fees of uh, total sales six point. I don't know. I can't. There is no right. There's only wrong here. I don't see it. It's cuckoo. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, he bought it. He bought the keyboard that he was going to buy in two weeks. He bought it. Or somebody else bought it. Somebody in Eugene, Oregon bought it. Oh, my goodness. It's all about Oregon today. I'll go back to the chat because I, I want to make sure I get through all these things. Um, Full-time Flipper was a uh, podcast, was an RPG. That's role-playing game to some of us, programmer for seven years. Um, is that uh, to say you are a digital dungeon master? <laughs> Sorry, that was terrible. Uh, full time software. It was the code used for the IBM AS400 systems. Okay, so that's super boring, but that is uh, that's like a that's like a bank uh, server, bank servers, the big black ones with the blue little bit of blue on it. And those were AS400s. Oh no, that and the even older ones. Right, I remember AS400 was around for a long time, but those are. Bank mainframes or mainframes for anybody, I guess. Probably Macy's too, but uh, IBM AS four hundreds are mainframe systems. Thank you, thank me, thank you. Wait, what? Average conversion rate is one point two percent, and what's sell through rate or those other? I don't know. Oh, well, don't worry about it. It's okay. But 1.2 is up because usually it's like a single digit, you know, dot single. Uh, while some people like Biff, Biff sits up there in like 3% sell-through rate. So 
That's awesome. Uh, basket noodle. Oh, yes. C++ is very used. Okay. I know it upside down as well as C sharp. No, just C++ and C++ that I use. Um, but object-oriented programming. Is that what it is? That's what it's called, right? Uh, no. Or is that old stuff? Object. No, I think that's what it is. Um, six by six also wanted to let you all know that Miss Merritt is on spring break and she wants you to know she is in the house. Aloha, Miss Merritt. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you're having some time off, Miss Merritt. Enjoy the lap of luxury and have some, uh, ladybird, ladybird eggs. That's what we call them here in America, but they're jelly beans. I've never heard anybody refer to them as jelly bird eggs, but that they say that on the package. They say jelly bean, and then below it, ladybird eggs. Ladybug bird? Ladybird bug eggs. Ah, so, excellent. I'm glad you're having the week off, Miss Mary. And I am a reseller. That was a listing. Listing lusting is out of the question. I'm knackered. Paul Rose. Paul Rose is speaking British to us. Uh, major win, haha. Ha, Paul Rose uh, almost said lusting might slow you down. <laughs> Tally dead. List perfectly is great. Uh, Freya's in the house. Aloha, Freya. Nice to see you here. Silver hair stacker was gifted a membership by Major Win. Thank you. Thank you very much, Major Win. That's awesome. Helping grow our membership. The, so the thing about memberships, don't I, I don't want anybody to feel left out or anything about memberships. Um, so I will show the stuff that's in the membership, but it is a way to, uh, you can't really count on, we're, we're definitely trying to build this into a, a revenue stream. Um, so we um, need to do that. We just have to do that because that's what we have to do. Um, but we don't, but we can't count on necessarily advertising. That's, you know, been shrunken over the years. So we do get advertising money and we so much appreciate the super chats and major win is a major benefactor at this point. That's what we should call him. Um, but the, um, the memberships allow us to get some membership dollars that we can, that it's every month you sort of pay it every month. And then, but it's as low as two ninety nine, And I just added, a. Super, I added the nuclear reset, which is $24.99. I don't expect anybody to get that. I don't know what special thing I'm going to give for that. But right now, if you are $24.99, I'm going to do a, uh, I think we're just going to do a weekly chat to anybody who pays. If you pay $24.99, if one person does that, we'll do a live chat. I don't know for how long, but with you, just you one person or anybody who, does the twenty four ninety nine? We'll do a live chat per week. We're also thinking of adding that for lower tiers as well. But I don't understand how this works. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm making this up as I go along. And I saw somebody else Anybody doing that. Any Anybody does have any suggestions? Like just do it all for free on the thing? Yes, of course we will. But um, mostly it's just to earn a little more income by showing paywall content that most of which will show to you later in time anyway so some of it she keeps saying no she's like well, yeah, no mm -hmm. it well it's no but sometimes then it's like nobody's gonna keep watching it so then it just sits in the membership stuff just rotting so eventually like in two weeks or a month we show it to everybody right something like that that's what we're thinking so you don't have to join but if you join you'll be up to date with all the primo happenings around town goof goofy um, so let's scroll down below the gifted membership, which I'm super excited about. And it's green. So thank you so much. Um, Josh Galt is here. What? I'm just getting here. Bean, 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 bean. <clears throat> uh, I think James has the right idea. Just like crazy, just list like crazy. And once the, sh once the ship writes itself, we will be whistling Dixie to the bank. How, um, I, I did see your post the other day. Sorry. You were one of the people I've. Not been feeling well, so I just I haven't been stopping to comment. But I've read your last post and all of your goals for this year, which are so, you know, you're you're a goal oriented person, and I know you're gonna you're gonna achieve those. And we're behind you. 
I think everyone in this chat can agree we're behind Josh and his and his uh, Josh and his paragraphs. Josh's paragraphs. Uh, he's gonna. He's definitely gonna make it. Um, have you noticed anything, Josh? Though in the uh, in the like March being just better than February, because I know I remember. I still remember you so clearly saying January. You made it almost made it out of January, making up for the beginning of January because we all had dead ten days at the beginning of January, and by the end, I think you had made it up. Uh, mostly, almost totally made it up. Uh, not made it up, but you had, you know, recouped, recoupered. Um, Josh said, eBay wanted everyone to sell high end, but they gate you after a strong sales day. The luxury brands are all having their items removed from eBay. That seems to be, that was sort of like what we were talking about, uh, what I was commenting back and forth with uh, Patricia. Well, and I personally believe that, like I I don't know if I finished that conversation. At the end of fourth quarter, it was saying Louis Vuitton and Burberry, these stores were hurting because all they did was put their colors or their tartan or whatever on products. They weren't innovating new fashion. While the high-end fashion was innovating new fashion, it's couture, you know, essentially. And that stuff won't, won't go down. And that stuff just gets more and more. Maybe... Handbags used to be really hot. I don't. I just don't know if the people who are in the upper middle class that buy the bougie stuff have the money. Like they're separating out. Where you know the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer, and the first thing to go out the door is handbags. I, I imagine you can have one, sweetie. You can have one Birkin bag, and after that, that's it. Right? <laughs> Trust me. If eBay was giving us money, I don't, I don't use Birkin. no, you don't. But if you did, you could have one. I don't know. I haven't gotten there yet. Holy cow, Andrew Wang gave another one. <laughs> That's so sweet. Uh, Den Decor Depot, uh, 100% agree with Josh Hohen, 100%. There are flashes of good. Uh, AJ13, I don't know. We don't know AJ13. Do we? We might know you and just, no. Actually, AJ13 came in here once. Remember, AJ, do we have to kick you out once, AJ? <laughs> I feel like you got evicted from somewhere. You might have gotten evicted from flipping ain't easy because I don't think we've actually uh, scolded anybody. Did you get kicked out of flipping ain't easy, AJ13? Well, you're now a member of this, and we're going to give you a shot. We're going to give you a chance. Everybody deserves a chance. Good thing Jenna isn't here, though. <laughs> she she might ban hammer you. <laughs> She's. If you haven't watched the Friday video, Billy, you, guys you gotta yes, you guys should go watch the flipping and easy Friday video. It started off with a bang, and it, and it kept going. It was awesome. Uh, Josh Galt, uh, eBay's AI is removing many luxury items from the platform. Is it because they're fake? And now you notice, Josh, that they're pressing their high-end luxury good consignment, not just handbags and, and sneakers, but they want all of your high-end crap over 75 bucks. And it's a consignment, so they're going to take even more of your money, but they can vouch for it. They can make sure it's legit. Are they going to go to 100% on luxury goods? 100% Rolexes have to be sent in? If anything's over $75, it should be sent in, they're saying. But then... Are they going to demand it in order to keep the fakes out? I'm curious. Curious to know. Uh, Carl says, you're right, Josh. There's a lot of mixed messages coming from eBay at the moment. I, I, can't, I can't picture a single moment, Carl, in the last year that there wasn't a confusing message coming out of those jack and apes over there in uh, Santa Clara. Where are they? San, San Jose? Um, they... They, they've been confusing us and not giving us straight answers. I, I, I keep saying that I do understand the fact that if they gave us straight answers, they'd be giving up a, a measure of security because not telling people how they operate is part of the way they keep operating safely. Uh, but they do need to they do need to cough up things to especially top rated sellers. Okay, top rated sellers. Maybe we have to sign an NDA that we can't talk about something on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to talk about some stuff, but if there's specifics that I'm not supposed to talk about, tell me. 
but also tell me what's going on so I can share the things that I'm supposed to share and not share the things I'm not supposed to share. But give us a give us a break. Give us a break for crying out loud. Uh, Major Wynn, looks like the membership is auto-assigned. Thought you had the ability to choose when the membership goes. Happy for those who got the membership, though. Yes, th- I, that's fair, right? If you gift a membership, it goes to whoever. Happy to have Silver Hair Stacker and AJ13 as a new member of the show. Although, AJ, did you even make a comment? Like, how does it even know? It just anybody watching could potentially get a membership. That's what either. That's what I'm guessing. Um. Doing the best we can with what we've got. So please list things that we that we will not sell. <laughs> yes, Josh, exactly. Um, I don't think... Uh, oh, wait, Napoleon. Sorry, I was reading. I don't know what I'm doing now. Napoleon, quote, is it is a genius who does the same thing when all others panic. I... That's... That's sort of, I think I sort of look at it that way. I have uh, uh, the ADHD, as I've mentioned here before. And one of the superpowers that I have, super duper superpowers, is that when it, when the anxiety hits, like, so anxiety hits me separately. So everyone else is just like sitting there. I'm stressed about something, right? But then when everyone else, when the group is stressed, that's when I'm like, you know, I, I totally go into full slowdown mode. The entire world. It's like the Matrix, you know. That's how I feel. And I and I can. So my wife once said, I know I can sit by the exit of an airplane. If we go down, <laughs> I never let her forget this. She can't handle if the if she can't find something in the aisle at the grocery store and she thinks she's going to usher people, although you did a great job at the club at three o'clock in the morning, that time in San Francisco, <laughs> when you had blue lips from the blue, from the blue Hawaiians. Remember that? They were, they were good. They were good. You almost died, but they were good. They were good. Uh, Nesbitt, Amy, says uh major win you are awesome and yes major win you are so awesome here it comes paul rose the open message is we value you please list the reality is but we won't help you so dendecor says i'm on the lp facebook group and they've got some bug issues right now uh dendecor are you saying that the facebook has the has the bug issues or marketplace. Mar- marketplace is having buggy buggies. Josh says maybe James way is the correct way. Just keep cracking it out and ignore the noise until things come back online. 100%. James is, uh, well, James for James is, um, uh, his plan is, is numbers. So he is doing what he does best. And the more he can list, the more better it's going to be for him in, in the general, in the general. So I think uh, it, you know, for for us, there's something about a 1,200 item store that seems to be very. Uh, my friend who sold on eBay forever and has done he does I think he still does Jason T Smith, he still does eBay. Uh, he charges for, what do you call those? Courses. courses like courses, how to sell CDs and stuff, you know, and that's. He actually, uh, Daily Refinement, before Daily Refinement was Daily Refinement, he took a trip down and visited Jason T. Smith to pick his brain on how to do it, how to do the courses and the have those symposiums or whatever you want to call them and make money that way. So that's a huge revenue stream. I think those kind of numbers are way down, but I don't know. You'd have to ask Tech and Sports probably has the biggest one going now. So you'd have to ask him. If people people like to pay thirty five dollars a month to get good information from a respected uh, eBayer, <clears throat> so I don't know how if if that's still what he's doing or not. I haven't talked to him in a while about his his eBay stuff, but twelve hundred was always his sweet spot in his store, and I notice he still has twelve hundred items, and when he sells some, he relists them. He never goes above it. So well, like twelve. 
plus, somewhere in the 1200s. And I think, I know he said that that was a sweet spot. I just don't know why. And I, I, I think it still is. But anyway, we're totally ignoring that and going to 2000. So. <laughs> On two stores, though. But we won't really go over. I don't think I'll actually go over 2000 because I want to do the nuclear reset every day. And six months, two years, I'm doing the nuclear reset till there's no more nuclear reset to do. And I somehow totally missed that uh, Kevin was doing the nuke too. So that's another reason why he is he's killing it over there. I think his whole store. He said he's doing it every day. Um, so th that's that's a great thing um and i invented the name for it so <laughs> i take full credit for inventing the entire process of re of of ebay reset which i called the nuclear reset only because you do it every single day i don't think anybody ever named that before me but that's i wish you were over here to pat me on the back Without getting patted on the back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Flippin uh, says, I chose TreeCat as they are extremely open to ideas and feedback to help mold their product. This was a huge for us to be part of it. Yes, yes. And that's, you guys, right now is the time. So they are responsive. They, I... I look. I saw some of the features. I can't remember which ones I was thinking about. It was maybe, oh, one of the features is, I know it came from a user. It was, uh, do you want TreeCat to send you notifications on certain things, on updates to the software, offers, things like that. And then another one was, do you want to uh, have us send you notifications, for, I think for things that sold or whatever. And then it gave you a space to put in a different email address than your main one. And this is something that I sort of remember. Like, I don't want to, I, yes, I do kind of want to have a tracking. I want to know like everything that goes on. But eBay, I've turned off all notifications because I don't want my mailbox flooded. As far as I know, eBay only sends to one email address. You, I wonder if they allow you to send to a different one. But anyway, TreeCat, it looks like they added in where you can put in a separate email address to send all your notifications to that you never ever look at unless you need to. I thought that was kind of a, a user-friendly uh, thing that may have come from a suggestion. Basket Noodle. Meta is working on tech convergence via the Quest headsets where we'll all unite under Ready Player One conditions. And I'll get my, my advanced crotch haptic suit or whatever from Ready Player One. Microfiber haptic suit with crotch in panel or whatever so you can you know you can get kicked in the nards or other things ready player one was a good movie we just watched that this weekend and biff's not here we he recommended we watch uh the best movie ever over the edge matt Dillon's first movie which was about uh some kids in colorado that took over the town and were just and reckless and i remember i remembered the movie uh it was pretty controversial back then because the kids are really violent and they're like showing drugs and stuff and there's one of the kids in the main group or the group that was traveling around is this uh, the shortest kid he carries a skateboard he's got blonde hair he wears glasses and he's mute he doesn't talk and i totally remember him from when i was a kid and uh, i think his name is johnny in the movie and I completely remember Major Wynn says that uh, Kurt Cobain was a fan of the movie and had similar glasses to Johnny. And I just remember being in school and older kids were talking about the movie and asked me, you know, who was my their fa my favorite character in the movie. And Matt Dillon was the coolest one, obviously. But I said Johnny, the little kid who didn't speak, and they just laughed me out of the laughed me out of the hallway. Aww. I know. I survived. I made it. And now, look, I've got my weapon. My tape deck. My tape. My tape deck. My tape gun. Okay, let's see. Uh, oops. 
Whoopsie, guys, we're talking fast again. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, Dendacore's got a lot of words. Sorry, Dendacore. Uh, everybody read Dendacore's comment. If I just point out the comment, is that good enough? Samsung and Apple are working on Bluetooth glasses. Josh, wait, Josh Scott said, I like them best as well from a surface view. This is pointing back to flipping it easy. I mean, to the, uh, to the tree cat, even though I haven't really cross-listed yet. Yeah, I, I recommend uh, so far so good on the tree cat, uh, getting itself ready for me to do that today. Samsung and Apple are working on Bluetooth glasses, basically give giveaway with phone contracts. Also a goal of revolutionary, revolutionizing e-commerce. Now you're talking about uh, HID displays inside your glasses and stuff. So like Google Lens, they, they kind of half did it. Well, at least that was like a, a prototype, I guess. Um, I have seen the Apple ones, not in person, but I have seen Casey Neistat and a couple people putting those. That looks pretty cool. You can just wear glasses, goggles, and uh, and it just basically puts a price tag on everything so you know how much everything costs in the entire world. Yeah, that can't hurt commerce, can it? Uh, of course, more than e-commerce, uh, virtual travel, list goes on and on. The emerging 3D technologies are going to change the web landscape, or so they think, like Web 2.0 did sort of kind of. Yeah, I think they did that to um, uh, um, – sorry, I'm reading ahead now. I'm reading Patricia. I think she's scolding me for something, but I have to see. Uh, course – Wait, I have to just read this. Web 2.0, emerging 3D. Oh, that was my point. Is that with the, as commented last week, uh, the AI is putting the, the pedal to the metal when it comes to development of computer-based anything. So, the like the, the guy said, just a refresher about what I heard, was that a person who's basically a godfather of AI said that in 10 years, almost all cities will be powered by wind and solar. Sounds like far-fetched, but he said it's not, it's not far-fetched because AI is going to so quickly advance uh, manufacturing, delivery, logistics, all these things so quick that it's just going to make your head spin. So stuff is, you know, what takes human beings to do in a year is going to take AI to do in a minute. So, uh, especially health things, you know, finding out, uh, testing drugs. I mean, uh, you know, new drugs, things like that, or doing calculations for new phallic, you know, missiles to space. I mean, everything is going to be sped up. doesn't matter what it is. So I guess it could be, you know, our e-commerce, <laughs> eBay is going to be sped up. WTF is here for Germany. I know Alvira Zane is not for hellos, but that's all that comes to mind. And Ish Libadish. I'll give you an Ish Libadish. How about that? Um, that's I love you. <laughs> and Kesa Bitte. Kesa Bitte? Right? So if I'm in Germany, I can say Kesa Bitte. And then, and then someone will hand me some cheese. And then I'll say Ish Libadish because the cheese was handed to me. And then I will say, Auf Wiedersehen, because I'm going to go eat my cheese. So I actually have full conversational German figured out. Okay, Patricia's saying, I omitted the NYT article content about online luxury goods sales tanking. Yes, I omitted the fact, I'm going to put it in the, I'm, now I'm going to put it in the comments so you can read it. Um, that's what we were talking about this weekend. Um, that's what, uh, that, uh, so I'll put that down there so you can read it, but it's basically an article saying that these, uh, that these, um, especially brands that are in the, my, my little bougie market that I'm talking about, the non innovator brands that are still good. I mean, Rolex would be one of them. So they're, they're aspirational brands. That's what Patricia was calling them. And they may even quote that in the, um, in the article. So aspirational brands are hurting. And then super rich brands are not because they, they're they super, rich super rich or super rich. So that's, that's the issue there. 
Uh, Major Wynn says, we believe in your greatness and we're here for him, Pilkey. Thank you so much. Primo, Spam, and Pokey. Tiny, tiny Pokey. Thank you very much. And I feel it. I feel it through uh, your cheering and I feel it through your green colored name and also Super Chats. So, but you are just a great booster even without a green name. Although I really appreciate the green name. Uh, Basket Needle. Well, February as a whole, sales were ex- exceeded expectations. Well, that's good. Josh Gott, my sales are up. Uh, hopefully, this is, I think this is referring to uh, March. My sales are up and down. I am about even for last year. April 1st of last year, my sales collapsed. Right. That's sort of why I wanted to know because we're going into the the April Fool's joke on most people was that your sales collapsed last year. If you're in the collectibles or one-off uh, sections at least. And ours did not hit until June, till the end of June. So there was obviously some sort of, uh, you know, rolling out of the pain, I'm guessing. Um, but Josh got hit first. And, and most people got hit first. Hey, Froze got hit first. Most people did get hit in uh, um, April. Um, so he says, if I can keep pace go- at this pace, I will do much better than last year. And we will too, uh, um, I'm guessing. Because once we get to June, see, your April went to shite in uh your April. Your eBay went to shite in April. So that means, am I saying, did I keep saying April? Your April went to April in April. Your eBay, so you're now going into fresh new territory where you're going to make up for it, hopefully. So we have to wait till June till we're actually making up for our, for the bad space. So we did well up until June. Um, uh, I don't know who, uh, Oh, WTF, did your sales crash in the spring of, of 2023 um, in Germany? I was curious because they did do a lot of work in Germany this last year, the CTC, whatever. A major win says, here's what's working for us. Listing like our life depends upon it and promoting a tiny bit. Um, yeah, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, I mean, I'm showing absolute insane triple impressions, triple Sales down six uh, or whatever percent, but after if it was uh, net sales down 2.5%, 2.6% over last March. But our impressions and our page views are up 300%, three times what they were last year. If you take away, well, I guess I was taking away promoted listings. You want to look at that again? No, let's not. Um. Because I was, I was, I was saying take out the promoted listings and just look at my organic and external site views with three times as much. But even with promoted listings, we had considerably less. I think two point six million impressions versus four million impressions this March versus two point six million impressions. We had six thousand page views this March and five thousand page views last March, and that was with. Higher sell-through rate, a slightly higher sell-through rate items, definitely twice as expensive items, which are usually higher sell-through rate, and average sale price uh, and quantity sold was lower, but the prices were higher. So that makes sense. Last year, so this year is is a shock in all always, considering that we are thumbing our nose at promoted listings and experiencing a better outcome compared to last year. Now, April is going to be an interesting because that's when everything crashed. April's April's going to be the month to really, really be checking out. Josh uh, said his sales crashed by 80% and didn't recover until September or October. Ours dropped, we say 50%, but like in the high 40s, just cut, just clipped. So, you know, over the year, did it get a little bit better? Yeah, we, I think we got up to like 26% um, last, maybe, I think December. Uh, I'm just talking off the top of my head if I was guessing, but December was March. Did March beat December? I didn't do those numbers. Maybe I'll do those on Wednesday. 
I think March actually beat December this to this month last month yesterday beat December of last year. So that's mm -mm. I don't like that at all. But anyway, they seem to have given us our life back or at least a, a reprieve. Um William Monday key Mon Monday Hinky. Aloha. <laughs> I tried. I apologize. <laughs> I butchered that. Uh, Callie Debs AI removed a vintage travel souvenir necklace, which stated made of natural materials because they bone or whatever. They, they think it's uh, something they're not allowed to sell. I called eBay and they told me that it that I could relist it, but I'm not going to risk a violation. Yeah. That's like our Virgin Killers by uh, the Scorpion cassette. No, I'll just put that in the, I'll put that in the faraway box, never to be relisted again. Although on Mercari, you guys, you can sell pornography. Yay! I see that you can sell uh, Playboys and uh, Wii magazines. So I, I, I wanted to see if you could sell that. And Mercari does not seem to have. I mean, it, it's not flooded with them, but I would, say, you know, if you have a big stack, that would be a place to maybe. Uh, channel some of your playboys too i ebay does sort of allow it but i don't know it's one of those questionable things where they took down a does actually does ebay allow for playboys now they took down a ced had a sealed ced uh, which is like a laser disc type thing but it's like in the cartridges and it was sealed and it was like a playboy confessions or something you can watch it on YouTube. It's just ladies walking around in lingerie, but it got taken off of eBay. So I, I'm just like, I just won't do anything like that. It's not like we have a big pile of porn over here or anything, but I, I just, if I could sell it, I got a lot of old Playboys. So I would sell those on Macari maybe. I think I'm going to. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. What else do I have to say? Uh, Flipping says AJ13 has never been banned from our channel. Good. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to scroll down. I'm trying to do the, the pass by conversations where it has uh, other people talking to other people. And then Dendacore, I'm the same way, Prebo. Chaos slows things down because... We can hyper focus, but don't put me in a quiet room. I'll go off the rails. Yes, I need to have when this when I get done with this, I've I've got to have I got the news. I've got somebody I'm watching somebody on on YouTube over here. The, the news, the volumes turned down. But what I can't do, this is the weirdest thing. I can't listen to music. Like if I listen to music, I get uh, I feel too happy. I'm like, I need to go do stuff outside, not work. If I listen to music, maybe I'm listening to the wrong music or m music just takes a lot of, uh, it gives, it's, it's just a lot of emotion in music, but, but visuals. Oh, right. And then I have like a blade runner on down here in the bottom. So I get the vibe. I got a vibe piece. Remember it used to be like a uh, Flintstones. I went through a Flintstones period where I just always had the Flintstones on Always have the news on, always have the Flintstones on, and then always have a YouTube video playing at the same time while I'm doing the nuclear reset or something. It, it like just, just focuses me in into it. But music distracts me. I get really, really happy and don't want to work. I don't know. It's probably weird. But what am I going to do? But don't put me in a quiet room. Yes, I will go bonk diddly onkers. I'm pretty sure I can't even sleep without my, uh, I have my cell phone kind of close to me and I'm listening to a certain, you know, I'll listen to YouTube going to bed, not watching it, just listening to it. And it's like, go to sleep, nighty night, do, 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 YouTube. But that's why I have to have, the, I have to pay for the extra YouTube without the commercials because commercials will take me right out of it. I will wake up. Oh, uh, let's see. Major win, Dendigore. I suffer like crazy from anxiety, but I now figured out a way to put it into productivity, put it into work instead of just suffering. Yeah, that's a that's an excellent way 
another way to uh, get rid of anxiety is to be rich. I don't know if you've tried that yet, but um, if you have like millions of dollars and then, you know, and then I've never tried that. I thought I'd wait till I was older, but I heard that that, I mean, big, big money, big problems. I understand that, but just don't just once, <laughs> once you got enough to live, stop, stop working, just basket noodle knit, noodle basket knit. Knit a sweater. That's what I want people who are rich to do. Just take it easy, bro. You only got one time. You don't need to compete. You don't need to be a billionaire. Just be a multimillionaire and go to Hawaii. Go buy a house. Go buy some properties. Be a landlord. Make people suffer by charging them too much. Make them pay for your mortgage. That's what rich people do. One day, sweetie, I promise you, one day you can have two Birkin bags. And some Louboutins. Can you imagine you in high heels and stilettos? We should do that. You know what would happen next? Emergency ride to the ankle break doctor. <laughs> I was wearing, that's how I broke my ankle. I was trying to walk down the stairs at 5 o'clock in the morning in high heels, and I slipped on a picture of me in AYSO soccer from when I was a kid in the Menlo Park Mashers. I slipped right on it. I did not have high heels on. I had nothing on. I was nude. Walking down the stairs. My feet were nude, though. And I just, I had stacked them right on the stairs with some, like, photographs and, I don't know, like, just a couple slippery pieces of paper. And I came down without the lights on with the, I was like, I'm going to get some coffee. It was so great. One year ago, she pushed me down the stairs. Oh, did I say that out loud? <gasps> Sorry. Um, is Darth the Rifter here today? No, he's not. Yes, his Darth the Rifter was, uh, what's, what's that guy's name? Marlboro? No, Marlboro. Oh, why do I want to call it Marlboro? But he's from that movie where he put the lotion in the basket. Den de, 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 de Cor Depot. I've read ADHD has roots in anxiety. Uh, yeah, I mean. Mine was diagnosed when I was a child, like a tiny little child, like four or five. And I had the teacher in the back of the room. That's how I, I look back at that now. Like just in my 50s, I've been like, holy crap, I had a teacher in the back of the room. Like I was like a teacher for just me because I was like ah, out of control somehow. And I don't remember being that out of control, but I was the class clown and all that kind of nonsense. And I most certainly couldn't sit still. So I guess she was just there to glue me down. Uh, but that was that was my uh, ADHD experience. And then around five or six years old, they put me on Dexedrine, time-release amphetamine. And I remember being so blissed and so high. And, you know, that's what happens. I was only on it for a couple of years. Though, so. It does stunt your... Does stunt your growth a little bit, but yeah, you gotta you gotta give up a couple things to be happy, I guess. Yeah, gotta give up a few inches to be happy. Uh, Major Wynn says, Dendecor, if you spent time with me in person, it would feel like the first time. It would feel like Adam Savage from MythBusters. A lot of fun if you're up to that energy energy level. Yeah, but you know they also have downtime because it's a TV show. Like, sometimes I feel like I run, like, a TV show just, like, all day long. And she's like, I'm tired. And I'm like, so we got to, no, I sit down. But I don't like it. And waking up in the morning is my favorite thing to do. Now, that's a weird ADHD trick. I don't find a lot of people who say that. I don't like sleep. I can't, I don't like it. I sleep about six, six hours a night. And I'm like, I can't wait to get up. I just love getting up and being sort of the first person in the in the day. Like nobody else is up yet. I'm first. I'm getting ahead. Really now the time's just taken up with the nuclear reset, but um I do enjoy that a little bit. Um uh let's see. Sorry, I'm just trying to I want to get down to the bottom. Uh for example, the EU basket noodle saying I, I think uh commenting on Let's see, the EU has claimed that a full 50% of what gets trashed coming in through the customs via online e-commerce is counterfeit. You mean like, cl like claimed, like a, 
Seized or whatever. Seized, I'm assuming. Baskin, it's more than that. It's 3D shopping like you are in the store. Yes, right. Well, I did see, I saw like on Casey Neistat's video with the Apple uh, goggles. Um, you look at things. So like if you're walking down the sidewalk and there is anything that potentially could be for sale, it tells you or travel poster would put like a price to travel to Tahiti or whatever. It does everything. Like if you see the bus, it tells you how much the bus is or the lift cab, how the, the if it's got uh surge pricing, you know, it, it tells you everything. And then when you go into a store, then it's like twang, ring, 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 ring. It's like being inside a pachinko machine, I assume. I also have not been inside a pachinko machine. But I can imagine what it would be like. Thank you, w, uh, WTF gives me the awesome German skills. Just enough to get fed in Germany and be polite. That's that's all you need. <laughs> Just enough to get fed and and be polite enough to get said feeding. Uh, Paul Rose says, when I when will AI be able to source photo and lust for me? I'm sure AI lusts for you already. <laughs> uh, but yes, that would be cool. If AI could just be a cash machine and just, so I don't have to do anything and it just gives me money. That'd be cool too. I, don't, I don't know how I don't know how the math works on that one though. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. How were Easter sales? WTF says from Germany. Uh, last week sales desert. Uh, <laughs> since yesterday they are going through the roof. Good. Good. Uh, so you could say sales, they have risen. You could say that. I'm not saying you should say that. I'm just saying sales has risen since yesterday. Um, oh, don't do that. Oh, my gosh. I'm not even. I'm on the weird one. Why am I on the weird one? I'm on this one, not the big one. That's why everything's going so slow. Um, silver hair stacker, two times sales. Nice. That is awesome. Major Wins says, agreed. The predictive text is crazy aggressive on super. Ch oh, yes. Uh, oh, on super chat text. And when we send that out wrong, we can't go back and change it. Really annoying. I don't know what you're referring to exactly. Um, just the text I'm assuming on super chats. Uh, e, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do you have the time? Uh, Paul Rose says four day holiday weekend here and sold three in the last three days all yesterday. So Sunday is always, um, Sunday has always been our classically highest number of items sold. Right now we're sitting at, which is one of our main uh, metrics for ch for seeing how we're doing, we're sitting at about 36 offers out. This is compared to February where we had 11 offers out average on a day. It's it's night and day. And so in our in our biggest, we were only paying attention, I don't know, June because we were, last June we had 72 out during a day. But roughly double our sales now, so... Uh, for March. <clears throat> so we, so it feels like we're back. If anything, if anything will change, we'll be the first to let you know with a special news report about how sales suck now, but we can't complain this whole month. We can't complain. And that is, that just feels real good. And uh, WTF says, I do sell playboys and penthouse on the eBay, but you can't sell the hustler. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how it works, but sometimes I know people do get stuff taken down from, from uh, a Playboy is taken down from. I haven't. I don't have a lot of experience with it because I. I just. I know that we had an issue uh, ten plus years ago. One got taken down, and I was just like, okay, pull those. It, no, they switched their policies, right? Remember they they said no Playboys at all, and then maybe they let them back back in. Uh, Josh says they do. They do allow Playboys, but certain magazines are not allowed because of comic caricatures etc so it's not a straightforward thing i'd rather not get 
trapped in that quicksand. Um, that's why we don't do that. But um, WTF says stag, stag films have great, they've always had uh, good value. We have, a, I think we probably have a bunch of, we probably have uh, 16 millimeter films, maybe 600 of them, 600 of them. A lot of educational ones. We have like the the girl on acid driving off the cliff. We've got uh, some really cool stuff. And the, the plan for that is to, there's two things to do with those. Either sell the reels as they are or sell, uh, including some of the stag movies and stuff. Or you cut the film into like 75, especially home movies. If you've got home movies, eight millimeter home movies, you can, in their lack of, uh, again, I have to qualify this some more. If they're uh, Disneyland, Hawaii, anywhere cool, Florida in the 50s, 60s, you cut them and sell them in 75 frame chunks. And you can just clean up on that stuff. Uh, long tail, of course, but you you do clean up. That way you share it with multiple people and they get 75 real frames that they can use for whatever they want. But it's it's a thing that people do. Just so you know. Is it? Wait, I'm not done yet. I have to finish. Uh, let's see. Oops. Anxiety will fi find you no matter what. I'm engaged in politics for 15 years. I was engaged in politics for 15 years. A topic. Yeah, no, don't do politics if you have anxiety. <laughs> Just go ahead and stay out of stay out of there. Um. <laughs> We'll get some Louis Vuitton stilettos. Paul Rose says, as one of my fridge magnets says, now this is where you get the real quotes. Without stress, my life would be empty. <laughs> <laughs> stress. Do you have like a stress ball, a stress nerd where his eyeballs and pop out? Mike Seller, trying to set up Tree Cat and it doesn't prompt me for an email Addy to create an account. Um, watch the video. I think their videos explain and because that was a hurdle for me right maybe at the very beginning, like a week ago. So I stopped trying to figure it out. Then I went back to it this morning and everything was fine. So I don't I don't recall exactly what happened. I just couldn't figure out how to sign up, but now they made it really easy. And even you can search for who you want to use. You want to use the FAE code. Uh I don't have one, so John can get have that. Um FAE is the code for 20% discount. Once they do start charging, you'll get a 20% off of your 15 cents and all that. So use that code. But I, they didn't used to have it so that you could search for the code, and now it does. So I know they've made some things a little uh, easier to navigate setting it up. But they have videos right on YouTube, uh, really good walkthrough videos, which I think explain everything uh, to a T. I, of course, didn't watch them. So that's why I couldn't figure it out and why I can't even repeat to you how I did it. Because if I watch a video, I feel like I've failed myself. I need to stumble through, just absolutely clonkify everything, mess it up, have to undo it, and then I learn. You know what that sounds like? Yeah, that's how I learn. I'm almost to the bottom, and then we can do it. Oops, I think I'm at the bottom. Yes. Uh, let's see. I work, 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 work. Major Win is a worker. Paul Rose, when German, uh, when in Germany, I found just tap tapping the top of a beer pump. I wanted communicated fine. <laughs> yes, I imagine that works in most of the EU. I believe that does work. Doesn't even matter how old you are. EU is still young, right? You can still be like 16 or 14. I was in I was in Britain uh 85 and 86. Yeah, 85 and 86. I bought cigarettes and Young's Bitter was my favorite and I'd go into the pubs. I would, you know, gamble. Maybe you couldn't gamble. They actually maybe they could they didn't let you gamble, but it was back when they had the dollar coin pounds. I mean, it's a million years ago. So everything's probably changed since then. Big Dre says you should add the Becker TV show guitar outro to your board. Okay, I'll, I'll check that out. I'll check it out. We're actually doing deep dives back into TV because um, 
we ran out of stuff to watch. We watched everything. We got to the end of everything. So now we're actually the Patriots, the show we're watching now, it's, it's 2018, which we're actually also watching a new one called The Three Body Problem. And it's um, it's it's hard to stop watching it because it's interesting, but it's annoying because it's not um, it's not it, it's kind of slow. But it, it's like one of those slow shows that, yes, yeah, so, and it jumps back and forth in time. It does the time shift. So I get confused enough to keep interested. So I got to figure out what's going on half the time. I do like that. So we're almost done with today. Oh, but WTF says private nude photos also have a nice value. Yes, I found that usually when I put my nude photos up, they sell quite quickly. There's There's plenty of people out there that, I want to see them. that would just be ridiculous okay so and i have a lot of um i we might be getting a bigger button presser machine so that i can i can press more buttons during a show but for now and for today thank you guys so much for joining us and spending two hours for us uh, with us sorry and uh we'll see you again on wednesday at one o'clock and until then, have a great week. Happy sales to you. Until we meet again. And etc. And we love you guys. And thank you all for the super chats and the and all the comments. They're all great. Everything's great. It's a miracle. Love you guys.